another episode of Seven Days to Die on the 19th. Today we're returning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the massive hospital location that we have begun undertaking, except with a little bit of a caveat in about 30 in-game minutes, which is going to be like less than a minute or something. It's going to be nighttime. And the zombies are going to be significantly stronger. So, uh, yeah, we got that to look forward to. But we are looting this place up as we do continue leveling up and looting as we do prepare for our first day seven horde that we got to go ahead and defend against. It is currently, as y'all can see, day four, although we are on the brink of day five after this nighttime. So we are definitely getting close. But I definitely just want these opportunities to level up, get those perk points, and hopefully find some good loot and to help us out because the first horde should be pretty manageable if we have all right weapons happens but i mean i wouldn't mind building some traps and stuff to like fend it off and obviously having like a nice fortified place but i tend to like really early as i've been saying a little bit uh i i like going after some of the experience and some of the gold and just loot in general but uh, speaking of loot in general we're looting up a place that ideally should have quite a bit of it the hospital and uh, i have not seen a zombie in like uh, uh, like two rooms, which is honestly already has me very suspicious, bro. Where are the zombies at? I know you mother truckers are somewhere over the rainbow. Yes, no. Okay, so it looks like that's where we actually head up to the second floor. Ah! Okay, there we go. I was gonna ah! say that it's been a little bit of time without facing a zombie. So those two are done. So hello, hello, anyone in here? No, no, no. Okay, so with that noise. Woo! Oh, athletic little kick there, buddy. With that noise from here on out, every zombie is going to be running for pretty much the next, like, what, 15 minutes or so of, like, in, not in-game, but, like, actual time. And it appears that we have the rest of the first floor here to ourselves, so we can go ahead and loot it up. We did actually, as y'all saw, right where we kind of entered back into the hospital, because at the end of last episode, we did loot through kind of the basement of the hospital and a portion of the first floor. And then we kind of, like, just pooped out of a window, uh, set aside like a little chest over there so we could empty out our inventory and re-up an inventory room Which is a very valuable commodity because uh, I'm a hoarder at heart, baby And I gotta get to looting including the nitty-gritty Including the toilets themselves because uh, dude, I'm not gonna lie The toilets are where we have found our only semi-automatic weapon so far a level one pistol like Weapon wise we're definitely not doing like out of this world, but we do have some solid stuff to support ourselves with and well we're continuing trying to level up and obviously loot up some big locations like this hospital in hopes of getting significantly better things i know that it's not like a freaking shotgun a messiah like a gun factory a weapon factory that would be like best case scenario to be completely honest but it's something and man i'm totally cool with that especially as we continue trying to kind of like move up the level in tree and as we do move up the level in trees more skills do await us and ooh, speaking of skills we actually have one that we ought to be able to use and i hear zombies see you later zambigator anybody else anybody else want to come and try me while i vandalize these paintings not for no reason oh hello ho 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 what in the oh i think a zombie broke into the basement from there that would make a little bit of sense and hello we got some zombies on the exterior what i'm gonna go ahead and do is lock them out because i think there should be an entryway from that doorway so i'm just closing that off just in case they get any funky ideas i don't want to be facing them i did double back here because i did just kind of like rush through this room i didn't really loot up anything Ooh, oh my god a second painting that's terrifying what is this like a portal to another dimension oh my god we're in narnia Ooh, that's safe. I have a few lock picks we ought to be able to use to break into that thing. Nothing behind there. I think we were on the other side of that door a little bit earlier. I just want to make sure that we don't leave anything behind because, again, I am just a ludaholic at heart. But hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day. Medical supplies of the most amazing variety. That only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything or anything like that. Does not matter to me how little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your... Aw, oh, diggity dang it! Into your day today! I'm just crossing my fingers that indeedly do. That's exactly what that joy uh, do do. And trust me, I am already... I, I already... I, I feel it, man. I feel... I got the feeling coursing through my veins. Something hilariously bad's gonna happen to me. Then again, that usually happens on like a daily seven days to die basis. But Mr. Walls safe let's go I, yeah I, nah i was about to say let's go but then i realized this wooden it's a wooden club i saw the number four i saw the green i'm like that's a high quality weapon it is but it's simply high quality wood 
I am not in need of high quality wood at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep, but all right, I will take your jars. And yeah, this is not exactly like, uh, ideally, the big reason we're doing such a big location like the hospital is the giant loot stash, the loot stockpile at the end of it all. That is, I think, where we're gonna be getting the most bang for our buck by far. And I am still hearing some more footsteps. I'm just scared that we could like jump from behind. That'd be a pretty bad scenario. Hello, Zambies. Well, I hear them breaking through some stuff, so we got that to look forward to, and hello, Woma! Dude, the new crawler freaks me out every time, man. This dude used to look so derpy, now he looks terrifying! Oh my goodness gracious, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me worry about the actual runner first. Oh my god, he's climbing over his buddy! No mercy! By him or for him. He, he didn't have mercy. Ooh, big hit, goodbye to your face. He didn't have mercy on his buddy, and, uh, well, I did not have mercy on him. Oh, get out of here, crawler. I ain't letting you get a hit on me like that. No, 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 I'm trying to keep my health in shape. Although, if we're gonna get hurt anywhere, a hospital is not the worst place in the world. Is that, dude, those dying rabbit noises, I always think that they're gonna end up being, uh, not a dying rabbit, but like freaking zombie vultures. My arch nemesis is, I'd prefer not to come across any of those. Please leave a message after the beep. Uh, not that lot of loot so far, though. I imagine, again, like I was saying, the more that we do progress, the more that that should change. There's a vending machine here that we can do something with. There are new uh, candies, by the way, that were added in this latest Alpha 19 update, and that actually gives some pretty cool effects, like mining, harvesting, duration food, covert cats, which make us a sneaky deaky dude. And oh, the atom junkies. Oh, ho, ho. That might be my kind of thing. That adds to explosive damage. So yeah, it's actually quite, I mean, it's always been kind of worthwhile to check vending machines, but now it's a whole new level of worthwhile because they dispense the special types of foods that I'm not sure, like, they're de I don't know if you can find them outside of vending machines. Ah! Vending machines, but I know for a fact you can find them inside. No, 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 of the dang things. And there's like a certain one, I think, that gives you more experience or something. I've, I've been seeing some comments just, I, I forget exactly what it is, but there's definitely a pretty nice candy that we want to get our hands on. So I will actually be checking those vending machines a little bit more than I used to. So I, I honestly won't even be mad if we come across some vending machines. I will take that to the b -b 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 bank. Old sank? Nah, nothing good. Toilet? Nah, dude, seriously, that one toilet we found with the pistol, bless up for that, because that's, part, that's probably one of the big reasons I kind of feel comfortable. Let's close that for the time being. Let's make sure that we don't miss anything first. That's one of the big reasons I kind of feel comfortable looting at night is because we do have a little bit of that fail safe, AKA, oh no, things are hitting the fan. Pull out the pistol and hope for the best. Speaking of which, let's make sure that all of our guns over here are reloaded and ready to go. This shotgun's nice, man, but if things are hitting the fan, I got two shots with this thing until I got to reload the entire shotgun, which is a little bit of a poop. So, ideally, dude, I cannot wait. I I don't know where these noises are coming from. Oh, there's a roof. There's some sort of a spooky little window there. But there's also some of these shelves. If I recall, I think we... Ooh, another wall safe. We might, we might actually be able to open up those shelves, but there are new weapons as well that were added in Alpha 19. I've kind of mentioned them beforehand. I think I have shown them in our crafting menu as well, including, I believe, the auto shotgun. Yeah, I need that in my life immediately. So I would like to start working towards that. But until then, we are relegated to some of the Vika weapons. That's also a big reason that I do want to do all this looting and hit up some of the big loca- Dude, what was that noise? Hit up some of the big locations nearby. Obviously, find big locations. Oh my god, really? Really? I am out of lockpicks. Well, feels good, bro. Feels great. Feel like freaking frosted flakes. They're great. That's how I'm feeling right now. Except not. Not at all. Quite the opposite. And man, these zombie noises continue sketching me out. They don't sound like they're like right on top of me, but they're still like suspiciously close. I, th they might be under us now that I think about it. As long as we, uh, close the doorways, we'll at least hear people breaking through doors and kind of have a few seconds to react and prepare for an onslaught of zombies. But without further ado, I think we're good here. I will scrap up this little, uh, cash register here so we get a few of these items. Bless up that we did manage, even though it's a little bit on the weaker side. We did manage to find ourselves a wrench, which does allow us to scrap more electronic-type items in the open world. Because, again, if y'all are new to Seven Days, by the way, welcome! Thank you for staying true so much of this potentially random episode. Because this is, like, the, what, seventh or something part? 
of this series. So you should definitely check out the full series if you haven't already. Should be able to do that through the link at the top of the description. Check out the playlist and all that. Yeah, definitely want a weapon and not the wrench when we're doing this. But yeah, this entire world is destructible. So I could literally destroy this and I could destroy this. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Back, back, big hit. Let's go. Are you dead? Okay, she's dead. I could, if I wanted to spend all that time, I don't know if I would want to. I actually destroy this entire ambulance. Not ambulance. This is not an ambulance. That'd be a big ambulance. Destroy this entire hospital until there's literally nothing left. Just like his face. Literally nothing left. I could do that to this entire place. Destroy all these blocks and do all that jazz. Boop. Dude, me and the stone sledgehammer get together so well. I know that there are significantly better weapons out there, but man, even Mr. Stone Sledgehammer is doing me some solids. Okay, and I think there's a vending machine I passed up before. I don't really care enough to go back and see what was in there. But like I'm saying, if I come across another one, I'll happily check it out. Now we do also, that's where we're heading, have a second here. Hopefully we don't get jumped by burbs. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to actually apply some of these perks here. We have managed to level up. We're doing a lot of melee. It is early game in the melee game. So I would, I want to, yeah, I want to get my strength up to level five. And I want to get another level of the Tyrannosaurus, which now killing blows give us 20 stamina and power attack stamina is reduced by 40%. I've almost entirely been using power attacks because I'm extra like that. I know I've actually been like yelled at before, like star, stop using power attacks because your stamina doesn't regen for a few seconds afterwards. What's the stamina? Yeah, again, if y'all are new, that little bar in the bottom left hand corner, that's the stamina bar. As you can see, when I swing, it gets used up. When I power swing, it gets used up and doesn't really regenerate right away. But you know, the less that power attacks do ultimately continue to use, we should be able to do more power attacks consecutively. And if we do get a kill, we start regenerating stamina now. So like things are going really millhouse and yo, I'm not gonna lie, dude. This looks like a freaking parkour secret if I've ever seen one. Come on, dude. This has gotta lead somewhere good. Maybe? Is there any way to get up there? Not really. Hello, Zambi! I'm not really too concerned with you. But we are also doing some trader quests. We're kind of taking a bit of a detour from trader quests at the moment because I really wanted to loot up this hospital because, I mean, it'll make us so loaded on medical supplies and we'll probably end up getting hurt quite a bit throughout the series, especially with our first Day 7 Horde coming. I would like to be able to recover from that and, uh, does this go anywhere good? Uh, it looks like there's a doorway there with a hole in it. I, I imagine we'll get there the normal way. Because you can't kind of like side skirt and take some shortcuts when you are doing things, but personally, I kind of like doing them the way that the 7As to die developers, you know, they, they, they meant for it to be played. That way we get jump scared when we're supposed to be. Like probably right now. Ah! Now. Oh, mama. Big hit. Oh, let's be very careful. No, speaking of which, I am out of stamina. I am out of stamina. Exactly what I was talking about. The stamina problem. Okay, you know what? I think it's a little bit of time for some uh, insurance policies. It's shotgun rain, baby. Okay. And now I got to reload that thing before we can use it again. Woo! Back! Oh my god, there's even more. I thought I killed you. Unless that was a completely different person. How are you surviving all these power hits? There we go. See you later, baby. Okay, so we took a little bit of health damage. We didn't sustain any injuries because there's the whole injury system. We aren't like slowed down or anything. We're not bleeding, nothing like that. But the music is intense, which is, it's pretty hard to be at ease when the music be like these. Um, so it looks like we're gonna be heading out that way next. I could like loot like, ah. Uh, I could if I wanted to like scrap absolutely everything around here and TVs and stuff are really good to scrap because they end up getting us like uh, what you call what you call electrical parts. We've also been picking up a few of the I think I don't know if we picked up any mechanical parts, but I do know it is possible to pick up mechanical parts from certain things. These are all various raw resources that we do need to stockpile for future things, especially some base defenses when we do start kind of like building up our own base and defending it with various blade traps, turrets, freaking automated like spinning blades of doom, all sorts of fun stuff like that, you know? Sunday Jimbo. And nice, we got some vitamins. Vitamins, we got some vitamins up in here. And all right, back to the great outdoors we go. And we still got quite a bit of the second floor to go as well. I imagine I hear lots of noises here in just one second. 
Oh, very good, very good. There is no zombie taking a poop. There's a lot of zombies, though. I just blew her arm off. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta get that stamina back. Bless up that I'm pretty good at getting that head, baby. I am nailing their heads every single time without fail. If I was missing their heads, this might be a little bit trickier, but we're doing good. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. First aid kits. Some of the best medical supplies we could ask for. Even if we don't use them, we could sell them for a few bucks. And that's the good thing about looting too. Worst case, if we don't even use all the stuff that we get, we are capable of selling it and making a few bucks here and there. And well, when you make a few bucks, well, it's pretty good. Because then when you talk to a trader, yeah, got more money to play with, baby. And when you got money to play with with the trader, that's when you can start getting some fun stuff. That's actually how, in the last series, I ended up getting kind of earlier than I expected the gyrocopter, aka the helicopter vehicle. I was about to literally type in helicopter. The gyrocopter, the literal helicopter vehicle. That's what, like a whiteboard? That's not gonna get us any electronics. A literal. Oh, where in tarnation did you come from? No, 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 no! Okay, and we are getting hungry. Our maximum stamina is reduced. So hopefully we find like a fridge or something because I am running low on food. Yeah, gotta make sure to keep those vitals in check, bro. Gotta make sure. So as much as I would love to continue looting every single electronical thing there is, there's like plenty of these throughout various locations. We don't like, if we're coming to the hospital, oh, the psych ward. Oh, baby, it's about to get spoopy, ain't it? Okay, well, it looks like it circles back downstairs, interestingly enough, into... A secret suitcase with nothing. And what appears to be some form of a dead end slash shortcut that we could utilize in the future. Should we choose? Those are landmines. Not exactly something you want to be stepping on out of uh, free will. Zero out of ten would not step on landmine again. Uh, I kind of want to go in there, but it's also telling us to go this way. Which way? Which way? Where is this taking us? The great outdoors. Okay. I see zombies below. What's up, zombies? Uh, does this open? It does not. So, okay. We're probably going to get there somehow else. And there appears to be a hole that leads to those landmines. I have no idea why there are landmines in a hospital. That definitely has me a little bit suspicious. I don't know about you. I've never... Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Goodbye to the burb. Oh, hello. And goodbye to burb number two. My arch nemesis is, has fallen. Oh, no. Not this guy. Not this guy. Let's get our uh, hammer Oh, yeah. And also, what I should probably do here is actually harvest this fellow a little bit. And then how many how many bones do I need to get a bone knife again? Because I, 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 I always forget that I can do this. I'm always like, oh, I don't have a knife. So I will not harvest this bird, but once you get your hands on five bones, you can create a little bit of a poopy knife here that can do some basic harvesting. I mean, it, it just lets us get more resources out of dead animals and as demonic as they all might be. No, 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 and burbs are good, because they have feathers. That is not a feather. That, that sounded like freaking rock. Birds are good, because they have feathers. Feathers are good for arrows. And ideally, when we get our hands on a good bow, because I don't think we've found a good bow yet. Like, I'm talking like compound bow, like the good, good bow. And hello, daytime is upon us. I'm talking like the compound bow, that fancy schmancy stuff. That's when uh, we start using a little bit more, but the, 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 the bird butts, the feathers, the feathers. They do come quite in handy for that. Hello, burbs. I see you, buddies. I see you. I see you. Let's do a little bit of hunting. Boom. A little bit of hunting practice, and then a little bit of pistol practice on top of that. So, I mean, I do really want to stockpile the ammo that the hunting rifle uses, because of the same ammo that our future rifles are going to use. Including the new tactical assault rifle that I'm so freaking hyped to get. But we need to get that, we need to find a schematic, so I think looting up bookstores will also be pretty important for us. Definitely do, I seriously want to build those new guns so badly! Or, or loot them up, man. Or loot them up. But we haven't really found any, like, gun stores or anything. So I do want to kind of focus relatively... Okay, hello. Uh, do I want to go down there? I guess so. Not really seeing another way to go. 
Yeah. Looks like it. But yeah, I definitely do want to get like get a vehicle done. So we can ideally explore more than just these two towns that we have found. Even though it's nice because both of them literally have a settlement. Which means that we can trade with different traders. We can get quests from different traders. And I do got to go and turn in a quest. And then also, I believe we've started. Yeah, we started a quest up in the north too. So we got some errands, so to speak, that we got to knock out. I don't want to call them errands because they're way more fun than that. And also, if we get way betterly rewarded than what we would for just knocking out a normal old errand. And hello, Nursey, Nursey. Bop! <laughs> Sayonara, baby. Can one of these toilets please have more pistols? Dude. Like, I, I know that pistols are very rare to find in the toilets, but like, you have no idea how lucky I am feeling that we managed Die Zambi to already come across a pistol. Because like, I've been searching through toilets like a freaking, I, I don't I don't even know. Call me the freaking seven days to die plumber, baby. All right, because I, I plumb these zombies to their doom or something like that. Yeah, this, this pistol here's my superpower. It's my plumber pistol. I pulled it out of a freaking toilet, dude. Quite the story arc, if you ask me. Ooh, let's go, baby! And that is something I've been looking for. The lucky goggles. It isn't quite the ski goggles that we had on, but personally, I like them better because it gives us a plus three loot bonus, which now means all the loot that we loot. And also, uh, it does make it easier for us to dig up buried treasure. And I think that we actually have some buried treasure over there. That's a treasure map. That's not like a treasure quest. So ideally, the, I think the treasure map tends to have better loot and more valuable stuff we'll be able to sell. So it'll be easier for us because we'll have a smaller area we need to search until we find it. And just in general, we are going to now start finding better loot. Oh, I'm excited. Dude, I've been seriously missing out on this thing. That is a must. Wow, you've been missing out on the bottom half of your body there, girl. Mm, you need to get that checked out. Well, I suppose you are in the hospital, so you were getting it checked out. I imagine this whole zombie apocalypse potentially put a little, little, little damper on things. I'm hearing some weird bass lines, bro. I'm about to face the freaking zombie boss. Am I facing the freaking ender dragon of seven days to die? Oh, hello. Not quite. Ow, I electrocuted myself. No, no, my God. I get it, vending machine. I'm sorry. Ah, explosions. First, the vending machine electrocutes me. Then it starts exploding. Oh, my God. I don't think I'm welcome on this floor, yo. Can I please find some food? I might just buy some food from that vending machine, to be completely honest. Wow. I'm really missing out on you lads and lassies heads. Well, don't mind me, because I'm going to line up a little bit of a shot here. And, uh, ah, bigot. Ah, bigger hits. Sayonara, baby. And as a wise man once said, shotgun rain. So I'm staying dry while others feel the pain. Shotgun rain. So, yeah, I accidentally hit this thing. Note to self, do not hit those sugar butts. Ooh. I need me some sugar butt. Dude, I like the sugar butt. Sugar butt is nice. Plus 10% bartering for 10 minutes. So if we're gonna buy and sell stuff, we uh, we wanna pop some sugar bootay. Well, 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 color me intrigued. Sign me up for that sugar booty. Oh, dude, come on, this is a kitchen. If there is not food in here, that's not food, bro, that's juice. Why is there juice in a soda machine, dude? That's not a juice machine. This ain't no freaking smoothie stand. That's a soda machine. They've been lied to. It did. I spit on you. <gasps> peas. Peas, I do not spit on you. I would never spit on you. Oh, not peas. Pears. Significantly more delicious, actually. Not the hate on peas or anything, but... Pears just hit different, man. Pears just hit different, brother. All right, nothing up in here. I suppose... I mean... I don't really want to buy food because also I don't have any money on me that's kind of downstairs. But uh, we are between a rock and a hard place. I do not plan on eating this, by the way. I'm not eating rotting flesh. That's not going to go over well for us. Does this? No, that just gives us water. I guess we just got to continue and hope that we get some food soon or that we don't starve. Well, those are the two options right there. Wada. Nada. Nada. Wada. Poo, poo, poo. Hello? Oh, the peaceful sounds of birds. The nice birds. The ones that aren't zombified and 
trying to kill me. Actually, I don't want to assume here. This might very well be zombie birds lulling us to a, to a position, a state of chillness. Oh, <gasps> I don't know why someone in their freaking hospital room stashed away some salmon, but I'm not questioning it, even though I just did. Give me the salmon, baby, get it in my belly. Let's go. Is that stupid hunger effect gonna go away now? Let's go, that would be ideal. Now we no longer have a little stamina uh, bummer. Because if we are suffering from any status effects like that, it's gonna be a little bit poopy. It actually can decrease our maximum stamina because there's a multitude, like there's kind of two maximum staminas. For example, like right now, I like, I it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but long story short, like as you get hungrier, your maximum stamina goes like from 109 to 108 to 107 to 105, et cetera, et cetera. And kind of like the maximum cap decreases until you decide to eat and stuff. And then like as you lose stamina and regenerate it, it only regenerates that maximum cap. Toilets, please. Man, I, I, I'm getting greedy, dude. We've already been blessed by one incredible toilet in our lives. I, I can't be getting greedy. That toilet truly did bless us. And okie dokie. Onwards we go. Where exactly? No one knows. Okay, never mind. I think I'm figuring it out. Uh, so it's kind of where we came from, actually. And then we go through here, we are officially on the third floor, and wowzers, what a welcome party, please. You shouldn't have everybody. You should not have. Oh my god, caught at the zombie strike. I'm going to bowl a perfect 300 game at this rate, oh lads and lassies. Because that was gorgeous. And that right there is the power of that melee perk. Even though we were just constantly power swinging, which stops us from naturally regenerating stamina for a few seconds, because we were killing- Ooh, nice medical supplies. Because we were killing zombies, we were- Oh, cheeky cheeky, something below here. We were actually, due to that perk, regenerating stamina for every kill. Which is freaking crazy, man. And beautiful, I can toss that bandana on as an extra piece of clothing. One that we had not yet had. Hello, medium medical pile. I really hope that there are like some guns at the top of this because like usually the loot pile at the end of these big locations is a bit more general. It's not as specific to the location. It usually just has like some big types of like, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but long story short, we should get more than just medical supplies, which would make me pretty happy camper to be completely honest. Hello, hello. Hold on, gotta desecrate some paintings here. It's looting time, baby. Anything good in the backpack? Eh, I mean, that bandaid actually, I'll take it! I will take that bandaid all day, or day. I think we're like, I think the floor, I, this might be the final floor before the roof, which actually is a very good sign, man. Oh, what is that? A safe? Wish I could break into you, bud. Wish I could, wish I could. But oh wait, oh my lockpicks decided to break. I do gotta look into a perk to help with the lockpick situation. But like I oh said, I'm kind of trying to let's freaking go! Oh, we're moving up in the sledgehammer world, baby. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I will pop this to regenerate the rest of our health all the way back up to the maximum, even though that was slowly regenerating. Might as well, dude. And we learned how to actually make band-aids. Let's go. But, dude. That is huge. So, okay. Our stone sledgehammer does 24 melee damage, 46 power attack. Our iron sledgehammer we just picked up does 26 and 64 without a single modification on it. So, that's about to change. We're going to go ahead and toss this on. It is only a level 1 iron sledgehammer, so we can only fit one mod modification, but already 29 melee damage, 68 power attack. I'm taking that and say hello to a new and upgraded friend. The Iron Sledgehammer is hammer time times two, baby. Well, kind of, like metaphorically, because we have like two sledgehammers, but also, well, like literally, because we have two sledgehammers, but metaphorically, because we have a stronger sledgehammer. And okay, okay, okay. This is the cheeky, deeky little, little area. Not that cheeky. Oh no, we are getting thirsty. That's because of those freaking uh, painkillers we just had. Yeah, unfortunately, a bit of a drawback. It does drain our water. Luckily, we got plenty of hydration available to us. So not the biggest deal in the universe. But, 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 but. It is still a deal. A deal 
It is, and hokey dokey, on to floor number four. We go. Imagine there's gonna be some zombies around one of these corners. Wow, surprisingly peaceful. Wow, there's still more floors? I may have been mistaken, lads and lassies. There might be a little bit more. Hello, I will be taking you into my inventory, my good sir. Yes, yes, most definitely, yes. And uh, we're a little bit thirsty, so I'll actually have some purified water. Since I only had one of that. I might get like the murky water and poopy stuff too. Boop. Ah, disappointing. I wonder though, does this thing might use more stamina versus that? Yes, it does. 22 stamina to use that. That one's a little bit higher. That's okay though. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Ammo pile! Let's go! <gasps> oh. Oh my. Hold up. Hold up. Say hello to the bipod. Well, and did we get it? Well, we've got another one full auto trigger group. Okay, so that's not gonna. S we already have one of those installed on the pistol. We can't install it on semi automatic stuff, but dude, we have a. How does one say a bipod equipped on this thing? I don't think we have to like use it like specifically or anything. It just increases accuracy and handling when aiming. I mean, we don't really have to worry about handling, so I think that's like more recoil and stuff, because this is literally a single shot weapon, but... I mean, I'll toss it on, man. I will take that all day and... Oh, that's where he came from. Derp a derp. Dude, that's what I'm talking. That's what I was saying! Even though this is a medical area, there are little, little, little crannies, little nooks with the goods like that! Hidden throughout, let's go! Okay, that painting was a little bit disappointing, but besides that, let's go! Come on, zombies. Oh my god, I didn't expect that many of you. How did that man actually survive that? Well, it doesn't matter, but he didn't get a hit off on us. And okay, he's gonna get a little bit of getting used to here. The power attack on the sledgehammer is a little bit slower to use. And we are not able to regenerate, like, the stamina we get back per hit is not enough to make up for uh, how much we're using. Even when we do manage to kill a zombie, we still gotta regenerate for a little bit. Luckily, though, we got the murder machine full steam ahead. And the iron sledgehammer is a big part of that. Even those bigger, tougher zombies ain't a match for us. And oh, oh, oh. We have arrived at quite the fancy looking room. We got a drawer. I hear zombies. There's another doorway. There's a not so secret painting. And where do we go from here? Is this literally the end? No, I see a little cheeky little outdoor section, I think. There might be more, but we got some medical piles. Let's go. I don't know what's so medical about Elmer's freaking glue, but I suppose the Elmer's glue is now in the medicine industry. Who'd have thunk, right? And uh, I suppose I'll get through to the empty water bottles. Don't really... Don't, don't personally need those, I don't think. They're not the hardest thing in the universe to find. And we already have plenty of normal hydration. So I will be taking that to the bank. We got the drawer over here, and then outdoor section... Numero dos. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, I'll just get rid of the 44 paper. Not a lot of paper. Definitely more valuable things for us to grab. Blood bags we can actually use to craft first aid kits. I might just skip. Uh, no, I'll, I will keep that for now. I'll get rid of some of the boiled water there. I know we can use that to make tea and stuff. But I got plenty of other hydration. And again, water like... As long as we're not desperately low on water, I'm not too concerned about that. Oh my god. How many more floors are there? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I get that, like, each room continues becoming smaller and smaller, but, like... I didn't expect this to actually be this big. It did not look this big from the ground floor. I guess that's a good thing. More room for medicine and stuff, but... And more room for us to loot. I suppose I should not be complaining. But I just... I, I am primarily focused on that giant loot stockpile. That'll await us at the end of it all. That is the goods that I want, lads and lasses. That is not what I want. That is a tin can. Ooh! Toilet knife! Let's go. I will take that knife to the bank. Uh, cowboy boots? I'll just scrap the cowboy boots. Sorry, cowboy boots. Your time to die has come. Uh, I can actually scrap that now that I mention it. And honestly, I will just... I'll just drop the cowboy boots. It's it's not the biggest deal in the world if I leave those behind. Nice, nice, nice. More medical supplies. Seriously, we're going to be set on medical supplies after this. And okay, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a showdown. Where are you coming from, girl? Okay, hold on. Can I just, uh... 
Bash your brains. Thank you for your cooperation. Appreciate it, bro. Um, anything cheeky back here? No, 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 no. But I do believe I know what we gotta do. It involves park and ends in core. And no, I'm not talking like Coors Light or nothing like that. No, no, no. I'm talking parkour. Alright. And we continue. Moving up. Bop! And taking them out. Let's go. One more, one more, one more. Give me this stamina that I need. Okay, I see some crawlers already. Is that going to be our primarily, primary adversary here? Oh, no biggie, buddy. I'll take care of those easy peasy man. Number two, coming for you. Number three, come with me. Number four, take some more. Number five, die. Dive, dive into, ooh, death. Nope. Let's reload that. That's a zombie dog. I don't know what he's doing up here, but he's got to go. I love my IRL doggies. I love them doggies in real life. But zombified doggies are kind of sort of savage to a whole new level. I don't need that kind of savagery in my life at the moment because they will quite literally probably tear me limb from limb. Just in case there is one on the other side of here, I will equip our pistol. I am definitely skeptical because when there's one, there could be more than one words of wisdom with star brought to you by seven days to die <laughs> medical supplies nice that's a split okay i i'm not gonna lie i honestly thought i still had not a gun in my hand and well we saw that one i mean it still worked but yeah definitely could have used could have went big brain there for a moment hello goodbye papa ta-ta nothing in there nothing in there could do some hardcore parkour to get a little bit cheeky, but I don't think it's a big deal if we go this way. Because, yeah, there's a ladder here, and that'll take us to the next floor. And, like, we're, we're absolutely just, like, murking these floors now. Because, like, if you think about it, literally every floor continues getting smaller. Which is definitely a good thing. Pick it. It's definitely a good thing for us actually progressing through here faster. Because that, like, basement and first floor was a big boy. But it literally took us like two minutes on floor freaking five, and we've already moved on in the world. Someone behind here? Surprisingly, no, but ammo! I'll take that. Let's go. More 5.56 five, and pistol ammo. We're building up a nice stockpile. I'm gonna have to make sure to actually. Where did you come from, kind sir? Actually repair our. Uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, that's not good. I gotta make sure to actually repair our pistol before that horde ends up coming, too. Because uh, that would be no bueno. Is there another floor after this? Dude, we gotta be at... Oh, like, this has to be the last floor at this point. I am just, like, starting to refuse to believe that there's more. Hello, soup! Get in my belly! You cover food, right? Okay. Okay, that's stock. Because sometimes this stuff, like, heals more water than food. But, I mean, it's... Okay, it is healing some water, too. But it's also some food. A little bit of, uh, two fur there. Bye-bye. And I suppose, uh... This is the way. All right. I'll take that. That's primarily food right there. That's some sham quality ham. Also, if I needed, I could probably just, if I need an inventory room, I could just start scrapping the wooden clubs. They're not worth selling, but we should get a little bit of wood out of them. I thought that was literally a dead end room for like a solid second there. I'm like, excuse me. This is supposed to go somewhere. Oh, hello. Goodbye, number one. Oh, there's a more. It's a small army of them. Well, they gone now. Oh my god, no, they got reinforcements! The cavalry called the cavalry! But now, all the cavalry's dead. Cavalryception. Bop. And so is the infantry. They all gone, baby. Okay. And there is the roof. The roof, baby. We'll go ahead and pop over to that Und just von moment. Okie dokie, y'all. First things first, we gotta make sure to be the responsible bird gatherers that we are for lack of better wording and actually gather up these things i invested the bullet a pop into each of them so uh, they best be giving me a little bit of return on that investment you know you know no i'm saying hello i like what i see in the actually i don't know is that just that might just be like a dead body bag i don't know what that is but it looks fancy so fancy things tend to be pretty good in the seven days to die life style but let's continue collecting up this birdie over here and then we got one more up there that is going to be kind of annoying to get to, so I will just leave that be. <gasps> Dude, that's what I was talking about, baby. Large ammo 
pile. Oh, come on. Give me something. Go. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good if you ask me. Let's go, baby. A little bit of the barbed wire mod. A little bit of a burning shaft. Ooh, things are going to get cooking. And we got ourselves a little bit of a helmet light mod as well. So I suppose it's time for us to toss some things out. So why don't we go ahead? We do have a wooden club over here. Boop. Scrap that thing. Collect that thing. And there we have quite a big thing getting collected. And that's not even the top floor, dude. If the top floor is even better than that, I'm about to be the happiest camper on this side of Mississippi, baby. Now, where? Oh, where's? Hello, baby. We're gonna have a little bit of uh, murdering to do, so without further ado, let's get to it! Oh no, that was not the kill. I need some kills! These are not kills! Okay, there we go. We got a kill so we can start getting a little bit of stamina back because otherwise things are gonna get out of hand! Okay, these zombies gotta start dying. Am I gonna get like jumps from above? That's kind of what I'm scared of right now. Okay, it appears that maybe. Let's go and try to run. Oh my god! What was that thing? That thing had like the weirdest little like run stance there. Okay, we got a little bit of separation, though. Giving our stamina a chance to regenerate. And BOOM! There we go! Goodbye to your face! Oh, what's that? You want to join the No Face Club? Please! I'm handing out invites willy-nilly! Okay, he did not accept the invite, unfortunately. I gave him the invite right to his face, and he's like, No, I do not want it. And I guess that we might need to break into that thing right there. But there we got that kill. And I might just do a little bit of normal swinging, because, yeah, dude... Even the normal swings on this can still absolutely one hit and murk some of these guys. It doesn't do as much damage, but it does make it significantly easier to regenerate stamina. So maybe when there's... Where did, where, where did that man come from? Did he take a fall a little bit earlier? So yeah, even though power swings might be a lot more fun, in situations like this especially, you might not want to get too carried away with the fun of the power swing. There we go. Goodbye to your face. Thank you for accepting your invitation. And... Uh, Bye! Bye bye to you. Wowzers. That was a lot. Alright, nothing back there. Uh, it appears that. Oh, we got a little bit of a secret room down here that I think we can get into. I think through this. This looks pretty suspicious. And my suspicions were correct, Amundo. The secrets compartment at the top of the hospital. Well, 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 well. Well, don't mind if I do, concerts. Is there going to be... No, there's not more zombies. There is simply the end. Oh, and a lovely end it is. Look at all of this. Medical supplies up the blood it was to go along with, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, these antibiotics, man. We got more medical supplies than we know what to do with. All right, college jacket, sayonara. We might need to start scrapping some of these things that might not be as necessary to make room for some of the more very necessary things. Like, hello, all of those things there. Mr. Weapons bag. Nah, that is not what I was looking for. Went, went. Okay, so we got a few blunderbusses here. I suppose. Mm, that is a level five blunderbuss, which is pretty sick. Ah, but I don't Yeah, We gotta get rid of something. I just don't know what that thing will be. Why don't we... I have chosen the, the splint. Goodbye to the splint. You gotta go, baby. You gotta go. We got bigger fish to fry and collect. And no! This hardened chest right there, dude. That hurts. We do not have the necessary lock picks to get into the hardened chest, which arguably has some of the best loot. That is possible to get in seven days to die. So unless we luck out a little bit and manage to find a few lockpicks somewhere here, luck doth not appear if to be if on our side if. Meh. That's the only sound I can muster to describe how I'm feeling, dude. Really? What are the best things that we could have possibly gotten at the end of this all? And it's locked like that. Talk about painful. Although... What is this little oh, room over here? Did we go under there before? Maybe? Have we been in this room? I think so. Okay, well, let's find out. Parkour! Just making sure. I gotta do that due diligence, you know? Okay, that is indeed exactly where we did come from. Well, I suppose if we wanted to, we could have, like, end, like skipped that whole boss battle at the end and just 
broke in through there if we want to take the time. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, a bit of a sad ending to our hospital adventure where the best of the best loot is unfortunately hidden behind a chest. So potentially I will just sit at that chest and break it until it opens because I can manually break the lock. But you all saw that thing had like 10,000 health. So it's going to take a while. And I'm not going to lie. I'm tempted to take that while because that is a hardened chest. It's the only, I think, one that we have found so far. So the rewards in that are going to be nice. They're gonna be very, very nice. But with that said, with that done, that's gonna go to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.